we are blue. Hi there. Welcome to this Jackfruit Tree Revolution training video. My name is Priscilla Pio, and in this video today, I will be presenting business opportunities to you. Let me also introduce to you two my two experts. Abel Atkwasi is my name. I'm from uh, Makere University, the School of Food Technology, Nutrition and Bioengineering. You are welcome to Busaino Fruits and Herbs. I'm Judith Bakiria, the proprietor. Are you ready? Because I can't wait to introduce you to an exciting business opportunity for your jackfruits. We know jackfruit is just a fruit. It's just there for whenever we are hungry. Not bad, right? But also not very special. But jackfruit is not a fruit that we build our business on. At least that's what we thought. But you might need to reconsider our big green friend. Because all over the world, people are discovering jackfruit. And not just as a fruit, but as an alternative to meat. More and more people are becoming vegetarian all over the world. They are eating less or no meat at all for different reasons, such as their health, animal welfare, and even environmental impact. The meat industry is a big contributor to climate change. That is why the market for alternatives to meat is growing tremendously. And our old good jackfruit happens to be the perfect replacer. If processed well, it happens to have the same bite as meat. If marinated or put in a sauce, it can adapt many lovely flavors. With the right treatment, the jackfruit can be made into all kinds of meat-like products. Look at this hamburger look-alike. And the fact that the jackfruit tree is an important tree to keep around, because it adapts a lot of nitrogen and supports biodiversity is an important reason for many vegetarians to embrace the jackfruit products. How does it work? There are 10 things you need to know before you can join the young jackfruit revolution. One, first thing you need to know is that we are not talking about the ripe jackfruit. It is the young unripe jackfruit. Two, secondly, the young jackfruit is sold in cans or glass jars, small pieces in a brine of water and citric acid to keep the color and keep it from further ripening. But it can come as well in dehydrated form and packed in pouches. Three, varieties don't matter. As long as they are unripe and young, varieties don't seem to matter. The Makerere Food Lab helped us find out what the best jackfruit variety is to use for the product. One that has the same taste, bite, color as the Asian product. Together with the farmers and consumers in Wakiso and Bugiri, who described the fruits from the trees, we identified and tested six different varieties with differences in size and color of the flakes. And here is the good news. All the six varieties that we tested are suitable for our product. So it is safe to say that all jackfruit trees are good for the young jackfruit product that we are looking for. Let us listen to Dr. Abel Atukwase, our food scientist. So in terms of uh, varieties, uh, we have the one which we uh, term as yellow when ripe. We have one which is red when ripe and another one here which is white uh, when ripe. Uh, the kind of experiments we did in the lab, we realized that the variety when the jackfruit is still young does not much affect the outcome. What you need is a tender, soft uh, a jackfruit. So uh, before they reach this stage, then the distinctive colors will not have started showing. Four, size matters. As a general rule, the young jackfruit that we are looking for is around two kilos. That looks like this. They are mostly this size, 
but different varieties have different sizes at the unripe stage. So indeed, size matters, but you cannot rely on size alone. Let's listen to Dr. Abel. Like this one here, it is small, we got it from the same tree as we got this one, but as you can see, one has got uh, bigger uh, scales outside separated compared to this other one. So we think this one is almost mature and we're going to cut it and see. And when you process this one, it doesn't give you the right uh, texture that you're looking for. So uh, farmers need to be careful. Uh, size helps you, but you can't rely on size alone. You have to look at other uh, features. Five, but you cannot rely on size alone. Be careful and do not rely on size alone. The seeds have uh, uh, already matured and the fibers uh, somehow they are separated from each other. So this is not a uh, good jackfruit for uh, canning because the seeds will be uh, very hard and they want to be tender to suit the texture that uh, uh, the consumers of green uh, canned jackfruit are interested in. The seeds are very small, they are young and very tender. And this is what is uh, uh, expected of canned uh, green jackfruit. It's supposed to be tender and uh, that's what the consumers prefer. Six, check out the skin. The texture is still smooth, not sharp and wide. An unripe tender jackfruit has a smooth skin. Besides the size, you can also recognize the perfect jackfruit from its texture. For example, if you look at the, the scales outside the, the jackfruit, when it is still young, they are more close to each other compared to here, where they are more sharp and rough and uh, separated from each other. So by looking at uh, the outside of the jackfruit, if you experience, you can tell that it's around that stage of development that you need to harvest it. Seven, shape matters. Lesser curves are better. Dr. Abel explains why. We shall encourage farmers to harvest jackfruit that is uniform in shape. You can see this one is uniformly shaped. If you can compare it uh, uh, with this one, this one has got some curves around, so uh, much as you can uh, process it, but might not form a very good, uh, might not give you a very good product, because this bend sometimes when you cut it, as we shall see later, you'll find that, that inside the fibers have somehow separated, or they are flaccid. So that doesn't make a very good uh, uh, product. Eight, use your business sense. It does not make business sense to pick them too small. This small jackfruit will give us a good product, nice and tender. So it makes more business sense to pick the jackfruit at a later stage, when they are bigger like this one. This one is around two kilos and we can fill five cans out of this one jackfruit. Nine, harvest with care. Especially in young jackfruit trees, the fruits tend to grow high up in the tree. You need to find ways to pick the young fruits without damaging the skin. 10. Motivate your trees. On older trees, from seven years onwards, the fruits start growing more downwards, even on the trunk. You can motivate the tree to grow faster by teasing it a bit with a panga. When the tree gets stressed, it speeds up. Motivate the tree to grow jackfruits on the trunk. Thank you for watching the introductory video about the young jackfruit business opportunity. This was a lot of information on young jackfruit. But let me repeat the two most important things to remember if you want to harvest young jackfruits. Size matters. The jackfruit should be around two kilos and texture matters. The skin should still be smooth and not yet rough. If you want to know about our program, please visit our website of Business Lab Uganda. Thank you.